Hello, I'm Ethan from Team 7588 Cat Lateral Damage. This video explains how to find your camera's intrinsics with the intent of using it to determine the distance and angles of an April tag in First Tech Challenge. I will be using the op mode from our April tag quick start video. If you are interested in intrinsics for FTC April tag detection, and you are using one of the following cameras at one of the corresponding resolutions, then the SDK automatically pulls pre-calculated intrinsics, and you do not need this tutorial. However, you may find that your values seem more accurate. Let's start by briefly talking about lens intrinsics. They are a set of four parameters that represent the focal length and focal point of the camera. These parameters are called FX, FY, CX, and CY. FX and FY are the focal lengths, while CX and CY represent the focal point. These are used to determine the physical distance of an object from a camera. If you want to learn more about intrinsics, I recommend Cyril's video on camera intrinsics and extrinsics, which is linked in the description. There are two programs that first recommends to find intrinsics. The first program, 3DF Zephyr, is a free photogrammetry software. One of its capabilities is to find the intrinsics of a camera, which is fairly simple to use. The second program, Mercal, is far more extensive and dedicated to finding lens intrinsics, but can be complex to get running. For this tutorial, we will be using 3DF Zephyr. To download 3DF Zephyr, follow the link in the description, scroll down, and click download. Install it just like you would any other program, and open it once it is installed. From here, go to the top and select Utilities, Images, and Camera Calibration. Here, it will tell you to take at least 10 pictures of the following screen, which looks like this. You can get out of this screen by pressing Escape. The SDK provides a sample op mode with the function of taking pictures and saving them onto the control hub. This can be found under FTC Robot Controller, Java, External.Samples, and at the very bottom it is called Utility Camera Frame Capture. Copy this and paste it into your team code folder. We need to make a few adjustments to this op mode before we run it. First, remove the at disabled at the top to enable the op mode. If you are using a webcam like we are in this tutorial, set the using webcam boolean to true. If not, make sure that this is set to the correct direction for the phone. And then make sure that the resolution matches what you are planning on using. If you change resolution, you will need to recalculate intrinsics. Now we can push this to the robot. After code has been pushed, we can select the op mode and start it. Now we can see it says if we press X, it will take a picture, which will be saved onto the control hub. I recommend having a screen with the robot controller on it to see exactly what your pictures look like. This can be done with an external monitor plugged into the control hub or the screen copy, which I explained how to use in our advanced April tag functionality video. Each picture should mostly include only the calibration screen while ensuring all four corners are visible. Ensure there is no glare when taking these pictures, as that can mess it up. I recommend taking at least 15 to 20 pictures for an accurate calibration. After they are all taken, we need to import these pictures into Zephyr. When you are plugged into your robot via USB, you can see the control hub as an external drive. When you open it, you can see all the photos that you just took. If you rerun the op mode and take more photos, it will overwrite these photos. We can then use these photos in here, click next, ignore the EXIF data mismatch warning. If there is another error once you try and calibrate it, just close this calibration window and reopen it and it should work. After the pictures have processed, it shows us a bunch of numbers, including the FX, FY, CX, and CY values. Now we can switch back to Android Studio and set the intrinsics by adding a method to the tag processor. Dot set lens intrinsics. And then we will put in the FX, FY, CX, and CY value we got from Zephyr. 
Now, when we have pushed code and run the robot again, we should see that the values are very close to accurate. If not, you may have taken a picture that messed up the tuning process, and I recommend going through that again. Now you can get much more accurate distances and angles from a camera to an April tag. I recommend checking out our April Tag Quick Start video if you have not already. And if you want to learn more about what April Tags are capable of in FTC, check out our Advanced April Tag Functionality video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or reach out to us via Discord or email, or look for help in the FTC Discord server. My Discord username, our team email, and a link to the FTC Discord are in the description. Thanks for watching!